Hello YouTube, welcome back to Case Technologies. In today's video we're going to cover uh, the first video of this series um, for Ruby. And we're just going to work on the basics, how to get Ruby installed, and how to actually print Ruby. So let's go ahead and jump into it and begin. So if you don't have, uh, if you have a Linux system, all you have to do is pretty much either do sudo yum install ruby or apt install ruby and it's just that simple but if you don't have it you're going to have to go on over to the ruby website and actually go and find downloads and then find uh, if you have windows go to ruby installer and you can download and install it like that and use the ruby installer to download the version you would like to use okay and that's rubyinstaller.org alright let's jump back over here I already have Ruby installed so we're gonna go ahead and, and begin this is gonna be a pretty short one um, most of the time when people are using Ruby they're, you're familiar, they're usually using it for like rails or something like that but Ruby can be used as an everyday scripting language you can use it um, to create programs use for programs for you um, it's pretty similar to to Python and some of its uh, syntax. Uh, so it's pretty neat. I like to use it from time to time. I have like little specialized things I want to do really quickly. I like to use Ruby for that. So let's go ahead and begin. We're just going to go ahead and get started with like print statements and things like that. Um, and we're going to start with the hash pound user bin environment and we're just going to put Ruby all right so that we select the, the Ruby version that we have so when you want to put something to the screen you can use puts and then put your string for Ruby Ruby is very smooth very clean for this you can say puts um, hello world all right and then we can go ahead and go to our terminal. I gotta get to where the file is at. Oops. All right, and then we can just go ahead and make this executable. Uh, all right. It has all the permissions that we need. Okay. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and run it. We can run it like that. Dot slash test of Ruby. Or you can do Ruby test.rb and get the same results. So there we go. We have Hello World is put to the screen. So let's say we don't want to do all the typing. You can just. Uh, Type P, the letter P, and do the same thing here. Line two. And we can print that as line two. And you see how the quotation marks are there with that. So keep that in mind. Then you can also use the print statement. And you can say print. Line number three, and we can do that. All right, I just run that. Now you see on line number three here, it didn't create a new line or a return. So you'd have to, if you're going to use the print statement, you're going to have to do a slash n for new line. And I'm going to clear this out so we can see this run. And you just run it again, and it will go into a new line and get you started like that. Well, this is, but the print statements are very useful, very helpful. Okay, um, that's how you can get things to the screen quickly. You just want to get some basic statements out, some starter stuff. This is the way to go about it. All right, remember like, comment, and subscribe, and tune in for the next video.